So let's take a look at some of the new enhancements with SOLIDWORKS 2018 and assemblies. Everybody uses assemblies, so let's get started. So let's take a look at this little assembly, some 40,000 plus components, and let's kind of dig down into this little cabinet assembly. On the cabinet, I've got a little mug holder. We're going to open up the subassembly. And we've always had the ability to do a local pattern, but now we have a little option to do rotate instances. So that way we can actually do almost like a helical pattern. So it's pretty cool. Everything looks good. We can set it to 120 degrees and then hit OK. Let's go ahead and show the components with the mugs on it. And then let's switch over to one of the problems that we always had was if you've ever used the right click and said select other, it's kind of a problematic thing going down, digging down to the, on the surfaces that you can't really select on. Now if you're in the make command, you just hit the alt tab and it automatically selects on the face that you need to. Another problem we have is if you purchase some of these components, you don't have the option to actually make them exact because you bought two purchase components. So I've got a cylindrical face that I need uh, concentric with another cylindrical face. Well now we can do what's called misaligned mates. When I do a misaligned mate, I can add the option to uh, align it with one cylindrical mate or the other, or I can actually have it be symmetric. When it's symmetric, you can kind of see it looks really good between the two mates. When we do this, uh, it tells us what the deviation between the two uh, concentric mates actually are. Not only that, but we can also find this pretty quick and easy when we go into the mates dialog or the mates folder on your uh, assembly tree. And we can see the two concentric mates. If you don't like that, we can turn it off. So in your system options under assemblies, we can, we can check that whether we want it or not. So next, let's take a look at some explode views. Those are quick and easy in 2017, and we've enhanced the technology in 2018 for the route lines. So all you have to do is right click on the exploded view, select on smart explode lines, and they're practically done for you. Looks pretty good. We have some options that we can do with that. So uh, by default, it uses the bounding box of the individual components to put one route line to the other route line. Uh, but we can change that. When we select on the object, we can just say selected point, drag it to the point that we want, and then we can say update to all instances. It's quick and easy. Anytime we make a change, those route lines automatically update, saving you time and money.